this is our director's commentary and we're going to go through the film in quite a lot of detail or the opening to our film in a little detail yeah So here we have an establishing shot, which we thought worked really well. Um, we were all quite lucky that they cut the trees down at the right time. Yeah, so cause we it was going to be issues like that week with tree cutting and we were getting quite worried, but it was OK. All right. Um, and in the changes between these two shots here for the angles from the front through the side view, you can notice like the sound issues. But that's just because we filmed them at different times, so it was a bit a bit annoying. We only learned really realised that when we were editing. Yes. So at times you can hear birds and then you can hear uh, the train. So we kind of like cut the sound off other clips and we somehow got away with it. Mm -hmm. um, since our shooting varied for at different times of the day, some of our shots were filmed at around 10 a.m. in the morning and others um, probably went on till about 4 p.m. The lighting changed quite dramatically from the sun being completely behind us to it being in front of us. And we had to get over this by changing the brightness and contrast in the shots to try and make them all look similar. But some shots, as in the beginning, there's quite a glare on the faces, which if we were to do it again, we would try and get the same time of day and probably not end up with glare in the faces as it's harder to, to, bit, to depict expression and things. We also used saturation when it came to grading to get a zombie feel for our film so we made it slightly greyer and this helped us achieve the genre's conventions. Yeah and the, the sounds that the zombies are making up is like sound effects that we've we used, we've, we did a voiceover for and we did that afterwards because we didn't we really tell our actors to make zombie sounds, which you probably should have done. But that's what that was. Um, and an issue was that some of the zombies, well, quite a lot of them weren't actually moving their mouths, but the sounds are coming, so yeah. this is something we would have actually changed while editing. And initially, we actually used a YouTube clip uh, to do the sound, but uh, to, do, to do the sound of the zombies. But while we were editing, it wasn't good, it didn't seem quite realistic and go with our action on screen. So. Aiden and Daniel. Aiden yeah. and Daniel made um, zombie noises and we changed the pitch to um, get a variety of different noises. Yeah, okay. And also that grenade blast that was a few seconds back, uh, that was, it. we probably should have made thought about what that, how that would like affect the surroundings. Like, it probably would have made the fence shake and things like that, but um, we couldn't do anything about that when we were editing because it was too late. Um, when we were editing after our real shoot, but which became a test shoot later on, um, we had a problem with the master shots as we never had shots to cut away to, so we did have issues while we were editing. So this is something we resolved in our shoot afterwards. Um, we ensured we took master shots of action from all different angles to ensure we have something to cut away to, to make sure shots don't go for too long. Um, we also... Um, took the same shots from different angles which we didn't really do um, much before we didn't really concentrate on that so we were really fixed so we were like we were going to shoot a, for example Daniel shooting a sniper from one view only however after our test shoot we realized we need a variety when we edit and we need more to select from therefore when we shot um, Daniel's sniper scene we took it from all different angles of him doing the same thing for example him pulling the trigger we did a close-up we did a wide um, we did a side angle and so on, and we and we applied this to all our other shots as well. Okay, uh, so thank you for listening to our director's commentary.